Hi, Sophie here. So today I'm showing you another 444 recipe. This is where I create a recipe for under $4 for four people. Okay, I love these 444s because as I've said in some of my other videos, and by the way, if you haven't already, check out some of my other four for four uh, recipe videos. We've got a whole playlist going and I don't want you to miss out on those. But, you know, as I've said in some of those videos, I was raised by a very frugal mother and I'm really glad I was because she taught me so many little hacks in terms of sort of pulling the belt in, keeping the costs down. And of course, now that I eat whole food plant-based, um, it's, it becomes even easier to stay within budget because eliminating meat and fish and dairy really sort of keeps the cost down. So I love to create these recipes that are family friendly, they're filling. Every single recipe, because I'm a board certified nutritionist, has to, to tick all the boxes in terms of having, you know, the good amount of protein and, and carbs and all the macronutrients and the micro, micronutrients, excuse me. So today I got a very special recipe. It's one of my favorites. Favorites. It's a mash. So it's a collie potato mash with beautiful white northern beans and a delicious savory gravy. Let's get started. So in this pan, I have got one small cauliflower. I've cut it into the florets, popped it in the pan with one medium sized potato that I've chopped up roughly. Now, this pan is a, the workhorse of my kitchen. It's by uh, 360 Cookware, and I like it because you just put in a little bit of water. I've actually put in more than I need. You could probably put in about a cup or so of water, and it's pretty cool. It's like kind of like a little mini pressure cooker, but I like it because it just cooks everything really quickly. But if you don't have this pan, obviously you're just going to steam your uh, potatoes and your cauliflower for about 10 minutes or until fork tender. Okay, so my cauliflower and my potato has steamed to perfection. And now I'm just going to mash it up. And as I'm mashing, I'm popping in a little, uh, it's about a tablespoon of uh, vegan butter. And I sort of, that's how I do it. So then I kind of mush the butter into it. And I love, I love the combination of potato and um, cauliflower because it makes a mash a little bit healthier. You're getting your cruciferous veggies um, from the cauliflower. It's lighter, but because you've got the potato in there, you still get a sort of really satisfying uh, match. You're not compromising on anybody who loves traditional mashed potatoes, which I'm gonna be honest, I absolutely love mash, as does my husband, as does my whole family. So it's like a really light mashed potato. All right, so now what we are going to do is simply spoon the mash, the collie potato mash, into a bowl. Kids absolutely love this recipe too. Then what I have got is, um, I have got my white northern beans here. So I saved money, kept within budget, because I got them from the bulk bins, I soaked them, and then I cooked them in my instant pot, which was way less expensive than getting them in a can. So I've just heated them up, and this is going to give you all this lovely protein in here, so we're just going to put these in. The thing with the white northern beans or any kind of white beans is they're really creamy, so once you mix them all up. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my vegan gravy and check out my other video link underneath on how to make this delicious vegan 
gravy. So I don't want you to miss that. Hop along and, and have a look at that video. So that goes all over the top like so. And then you can just top it off with a little bit of a, a herb. You could do some parsley. I'm using thyme here because I just happen to have it growing in my yard. And I love the taste of thyme with this particular dish. And there you go. That is something that you would pay a lot of money for in a fancy Italian restaurant. And here we go, uh, very inexpensive, four for four. That is pretty much a dollar per serving. So you see how simple it is to create recipes that are family friendly, that are filling, that give you this really good, clean plant-based protein and are full of my favorite nutrient, which is America's forgotten nutrient, fiber. So this particular recipe has so many disease fighting nutrients in it and is absolutely delicious. Go and give it a try, save your money, always good to do that, and let me know in the comments below what you think. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video and don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos, please subscribe and make sure you click on the bell icon next door to the subscription box so you'll be notified as soon as a video goes live. Also, make sure you turn on the notifications for YouTube on your phone.